Merry Christmas. This is that outro for the intro. Right after this, you will see me in the kitchen. About 10, 12 minutes of me chopping it up with you guys, shooting the shit. And then we're going to get into the fucking routine out here in the yard. Not too shabby. <sighs> fucking crazy pump. Mind you, we did arms last night. Triceps and biceps. Then we came out here over an hour long. Uh, but we might chop it up a little bit. Our video for you guys. I know you guys are with your family, so you probably won't, guys, won't get to see the video like that. But uh, I just want to give you all a shout out. Appreciate y'all rocking with me. Um, getting this money together. Motivating each other. Uh, trying to stay consistent with each other. Um, you know, and uh, yeah, man. Spreading fucking knowledge of how to get fucking jacked. All right? Naturally. How to show the pains, as you see in the video. Uh, grinded it out. We got it done, all right? Some of it wasn't as pretty, but we fucking did some Sam Sulik shit. We got it done, grinded it out, made ugly faces, partial reps, whatever you want to call it. But we got it done, man. Appreciate y'all. Stay sucker free. All right, good morning, YouTube. Christmas Day. Um, Hopefully, you guys did celebrate it. You guys enjoy it with your family, uh, your kids. It's important to spend time with, with, with your loved ones. <clears throat> Those of you that, you know, don't get to see your kids, trust me. I get it. I get it. That's why, uh, you know, for holidays for me, I don't really celebrate them. Um, the only reason why I ever celebrate them was, you know, when I had the kids and shit like that. Uh, you know, Christmases, birthdays, um, you know, it was, it was always just for them, you know. Uh, for me personally, though, to me, it's just another day, another day to, uh, another day to break your head in thought. All right, so, um, anyway, so it's going on 1030 in the morning, Christmas day, um, we did arms yesterday. We was actually there for a good almost two hours in the gym. Uh, we started like at one o'clock. I didn't get out of the gym till like three. So, uh, and we also did like 20 minutes of cardio. Um, that was post-workout. <clears throat> so today we're gonna do a calisthenic routine in the yard, all right? Um, we're going to get something done. Uh, done the routine before. A lot of influencers have uh, used this routine. Never gave me credit uh, for where it originally started from. Did I invent it? Probably not. In the YouTube streets, I was, uh, you know, from, from my recollection, and I've been watching YouTube for a long time, I was like the first one to do, you know, down workouts, all right? And then now you see all these top dudes, even I see it on like, you know, TikTok, Instagram, sometimes you come across videos, you see a lot of people implementing down workouts, all right? Uh, again, was I the founder? No. It's just a, a different type of uh, routine to kind of play with numbers and rep ranges and, uh, you know, increase that, uh, that explosiveness in your workouts that way you can uh, you know achieve strength conditioning um, so on and so forth all right so it is what it is um, but yeah those that you know the OGs know where you were where it kind of originated from on YouTube streets anyway all right um, so we're gonna try to get this crazy down workout in but we're gonna reverse it and we're gonna we're gonna work our way up, all right? I think it's a little I think it's harder to do your way the way up, all right? When you when you ladder up from one to two to three, and instead of going from let's say ten down, ten, nine, eight, you know, I think it's a lot harder to, to work your way up. Higher reps, you're just starting your workout, you're fresh, you're not fatigued, okay? Those are the higher reps of the workout. You have energy, your muscles aren't taxed. So I think it's a lot, a lot easier 
doing it 10 down than if you pyramid from from down to up. So in my opinion, uh, let me know what you guys think. What do you think is harder, going down or reverse, down, down and laddering up? Um, hey, I appreciate you guys rocking with me since I came back. For those of you that are just tuning in, now when I say this is day 13, I'm literally saying this is 13 of working out you know, uh, for almost two weeks with, you know, more than, I, I, to be honest, basically the whole year I, I, I didn't work out, you know. I went I went literally nine months, ten months not doing a fucking push-up. And then earlier this year I was, you know, I, I was trying to get focused. I'd work out for two weeks, fall off, you know, take a month off, work out for a week or two, fall off, you know, earlier in those months in the year. Um, but, yeah, so to be honest, it's basically a, Day, day 12 of, of fucking trying to be consistent, all right, for once in my life with this workout shit and the YouTube shit, all right, so, um, so the physique you're seeing right now is basically 12, day 12, <laughs> you know, from scratch, uh, I literally went 10 months, I haven't done a fucking push-up since we, until we started this series, all right, this little winter, quote-unquote, winter bulk, as you see, my weight is not crazy going up. I'm still not eating a lot. Um, I'm fucking slowly trying to uh, clean up the diet. I've been doing cardio more consistently than I ever have, you know, uh, at least three to four days a week. I'm trying to get some cardio in. Um, so yeah, the, the body fat is obviously, um, I seen a comment up there, dude saying that I was going uh, too fast on my arm workout on the rep range. I think he's blind, all right, to be honest. Um, as you can see, when I was doing the preacher curls, you know, I was, I was, I was controlling the negative. You know what I mean? Yeah, I like to control the negative and then bang them up. Control the negative, bang them up. I don't know how much slower you want me to go. You know what I'm saying? Um, as for curls, curls are curls. But anyway, and then um, I, I had seen this topic too, saying that I had uh, too much body fat. Hey, again, this is literally day 12, my brother, of not doing shit basically the whole year. So, you know, it is what it is. I, I'm, I'm content to where I'm starting off considering let, sh let, let the majority of people not work out for basically a whole year and see what they look like. You know, for me to basically start off 12 days ago from 10 months of being doing nothing, last year I barely worked out too. You know, I mean, this, is, this is two, three years of just bullshitting. You know, the last time I worked out consistently was when I was locked up in 2013. To be honest with you, the last time I ever did a bid was in 2013. I did a year, all right? That was the last time I did a, a, a bid, and I had to sit down for a little bit and regroup. And I was locked up for a year, and I, and I worked out for a whole complete year. Other than that, I've been bullshitting 14, 15, 16, and so on and so I've been I've been slacking. You know, I go, like I said, three months on, four months off, two months on, one month off. You know, that's how, that's how I've, I've, I've been, you know. I get in my own head, life happens, I work a full-time job, it's ta taxing on the body, and we 35 plus over here, okay? So, um, yeah, enough talking. The, oh, so to the, hold on, to, to my point about that comment, I'll pin it over here. My body fat, yes, is, is on the higher end, but you can definitely see separation in my shoulders, triceps, I got a decent upper chest. My body fat, I hold it in my midsection. You know what I mean? That's what happens when you get older. But you're right. It is, it, it's, it's, uh, is it, is it where I want to be? No. But that's why I've been implementing cardio. And again, this is day 12. All right? So give me some time. You know, I got to get the ab routines back in check. I got to start doing abs. And you know what I mean? But like I said, man, we all, we all work in progress. But again, my point is, I'm just basically starting from scratch, you know, uh, meaning the, all year doing nothing. Literally, this is day 12 of 10 months of not doing a fucking push-up, all right? So, I think we're doing all right over here. Um, but I appreciate your concerns, and, you know, I, I, you know, it is what it is. I respect uh, everybody's opinion. Um, but when it comes to this shit, trust me, I'm very in tune with it, and I know what the, I'm talking about. So, enough for that. Uh, 10 minutes of ranting this morning. 
I just a uh, uh, quick little video for y'all. Uh, we're gonna get this fucking workout in, man. We're gonna do, we're gonna pyramid up. All right, I'm gonna show you guys where this shit originated from on YouTube, man. So make sure you appreciate that, and, and, and you know, you know what you gotta do to boost the algorithm, right? I ain't gotta say it, man. You know, I'm never gonna say hit that like button, hit that share button, hit that nah subscribe button, <coughs> comment. I'll say comment down below me if I wanna know your <coughs> your thoughts on a certain topic or something that's different. But other than that, if you fuck with me, you fuck with me. If you don't, you don't. I ain't got time to tell you what you need to do. This channel only can get up there and build off of you guys. You guys are the ones that build these people's platforms. You know, understand? By subscribing, by liking, by sharing, and all that other bullshit, all right? <clears throat> Without the, the viewer, these guys wouldn't have uh, money in their pockets. I got my hands on granite, you know? This granite uh, alone at my house cost me $5,000 of my hard work and money, you know? So... Not YouTube money. This house, not YouTube money. My truck, not YouTube money. You know, the chain that I had, not YouTube money. My my equipment from my, my landscape company, my trailers, no YouTube money. You understand what I mean? It helped out somewhat. Like, you know, when I was doing programming, shit like that. But this is hard work with these hands, these this back, these feet. You know what I mean? Doing uh, real work. Real manual labor. Uh, I wish I could sit down and just work out all day and, and get millions of dollars. Trust me, cause I would be a, I would I would be doing a lot more giveaways, fucking challenges, paying people. I would be showing you guys appreciation. These dudes make millions of dollars and and they get nothing. Their fan base get nothing. All right, fake. It's fake. All right, I'm different. But anyway, enough with the rant. Twelve minute rant. We're going to get this fucking workout in. We're doing it fasted. Um, we're going to just drink some water. And we're going to go out there to the yard. And we're going to fucking get it done, man. We're going to treat this morning like prison, man. Let's go. Three. A little bit of shoulder pain. It's good that we're kind of starting off lower reps. But again, I think it's a lot harder going from down and working your way up than it is going up, going down. Four. We're going to try to do this unbroken, unbroken sets. Meaning when you get to 20 dips, do the complete 20. 22 dips, complete 20. You don't get off the fucking bar. That's, the, that's, the, that's what we're trying to do. Let's see if we can get it done. I haven't done this in uh, shit. A year. Some shit like that. Five. Feeling heavy, even though I didn't want to eat, I didn't eat at all. I'm, well, I am fasted. I didn't eat due to I wanted to be light for this workout this morning. Get this early money just because it's Christmas. Don't mean you can't get that fucking money. Get up early, get it done. Six. Remember, I just did arms yesterday. 
biceps and triceps. So we sore over here. So remember that also. It's not like I'm just doing this fresh. Now my my biceps, my triceps, my especially triceps, they sore. We at eight. Day 12, 10 months of not doing nothing. Day 12, we're already going to attempt that, that up, that 30 up. Meaning one to 30. I did the 30 down before. I believe I did 30 down on that. But I don't know if I went back up. That's a beastie workout. We're at nine. I believe we're at nine. We'll stay bundled up until we get warm. Cause this is starting to feel heavy. <laughs> my head I'm like damn I don't know if I could do it that's the purpose man push yourself somebody left a comment they heard the they heard my knees crack and the other day I did that full body prison style kind of sex routine you can hear my knees cracking I got the same shit in my shoulders I go like this my rotator cuffs both of them popping cracking A long way to go. So you figure that's almost, you know, seventy something. You know what I mean? It's a good, it's like 70 dips already. Something like that. I believe uh, the total number is 465 dips. That's what this workout will give you. We're doing real time, man. No editing. No editing. See, I forgot where I was at. Fuck. I think we had 11. Man. Nice, clean, clean money. Get that nice negative, get that deep stretch, push up. As we get higher into the rep range, I will start to speed them up, man. All right? Prison style. Constant tension, just pumping. Got to understand, when you do this, it don't matter what you're doing. Bench, shoulders, up here, arms. When you hold in the position like this, that's a resting position. Chest, that's a resting position. Joints, shoulders, elbows, wrists, that's a lot of weight on those, on, those, uh, on those joints. So that's why, think about it, that's why a lot of people, three, three quarters of the way up, just right before lockout, that's where I go. Shoulders, same thing, just right before lockout. 
keep that constant tension tension on the on the muscle group that you that you're um, trying to target. It's fucking that simple, man. All this, all these uh, full range of motion, motherfuckers. I get it. I get it. Full ROM. That's what they say, right? I get it. I understand it. But don't knock this shit till you try it. It's a lot different. We keeping that constant tension pumping. Listen to the pro bodybuilders. I might throw it up here in the corner. If I could find it, I'll throw it up here in the corner. Fuad Abi, I don't know we're talking about this the other day. Pro like body said rest how, pause, but it's he, certainly he, he a thing. Does, but I thought you were talking like he, literally he doing I mean, wait, like I, I, thinking that. like the it's that's in like a tension band better like bullshit. So that know? so that's not the context oh. in which I meant it. But if okay. we're gonna go if we're gonna go there, I don't do full bench press or dumbbell press. Like I don't go all the way down and all the way out. I stop generally three quarters. So if you guys want to call that a partial rep, then that's a then that's a partial. I don't do this full elbows locked out. I'm in the three quarter range from the very, very bottom yeah. to the three quarters out. So it's like, if that's called a partial rep, then yeah, some of my tra some of my training is like that. So it's like, and that, and that you know what? There's a lot. Is of that because you feel it better, like your you know, you know, like the maintaining tension better? Because when I extend all the way, I feel like I've taken some pressure off of my chest and I've taken some tension away. So I'm like, I want to stay in the stretch position, not the very, very bottom, but I don't lock my elbows out. Most guys I know that bench. Okay, can I ask, can I ask you a question? Would you stand up all the way in the squat? I don't. You never I, doing a heavy set of squats. You stay all the way three quarters. I generally, I generally am a three quarters, very, very, very bottom to almost the top. Okay. That's kind of. Look, I mean, look, we can point to some. If you want an extreme case of this, you point to somebody like Jason Ha. Jason Ha used to train in only the extreme stretch ass. position. He's so his, big. Holy fuck. His, his, his range, and I'm not saying this is why he was so big, but his range of motion was very okay. short, and he was a huge proponent of only staying in the tension range in the most stretched position of his training. Already feeling it, man. So we would have been fresh doing those high numbers 30, 29, 28. We would have been fresh getting those high numbers down. And then it got easier as you went down, you know, the 10, 9. Right now we're doing lightweight going up, which I think is a lot more harder. We're at 14. We're 11 minutes in. You see, I got the stone down here. I gotta finish it, man. I get it all the way down the left side of my driveway. Instead of paving, I'm gonna go with the stone work. I still gotta paint the fence and shit. Missing a couple panels. We got him. He's got to put him in. Cut the post. It'll be all right for next summer. You gotta see the pace, very controlled. Anybody could just, which we're gonna get to those grinders in a little bit, but you you wanna control these first clean sets. I right, wanna control them. We at 15. <clears throat> It was 
foggy out this morning. I was supposed to come out here a lot earlier and get it done. I was procrastinating because I am sore. Again, I just did arms yesterday, triceps and biceps. Anybody want to know? I got the Harachis on. The black and gold Harachis. I haven't seen nobody with these since I bought them fucking 10 years ago, probably. Not that you can't get them. I'm sure they don't even cost that much, but I've never seen anybody with them. 15. Feeling it. Respect will be paid. It's just tough. We had 16. I got a little rock underneath one of these. I'm trying to get this fucking leveled. It's not easy to when it's shaking. Sixteen. It's gonna be rough, fellas. It's gonna be a rough one. Again, we're trying not to break a set, but we probably most likely gonna, man. I'm not trying to get in my own head, but I'm just sore. Very sore. Have a little bit of shoulder pain. I'm trying to give the excuses, just letting you know exactly what it is. We're gonna get the fucking shit done no matter what. That's the that's the that's the uh, the bottom line anyway. We're gonna get it done. It's can we try to get it done as savage as we want to. Low rest periods also. We're not trying to be out here for two, three hours getting this shit done, man. We got shit to do. We got things to do. It's Christmas. Christmas, y'all gotta be with your families. If you got an hour, hour and a half, I don't know how long this is gonna take, but if you got a little extra time today, get this shit done right here. We have 17. <clears throat> it's that Christmas day dip massacre. All right, 17. Yeah, we're gonna start feeling it, man. <sighs> Fucking biceps still feel pumped. <sighs> it 
They still feel pumped from yesterday, man. You can't see the definition on this one because it's tattooed. Everybody got one arm bigger than the other, too. But yeah, it's because of the tattoo. I might be a little smaller, too, man. This is that shoulder that I fucking tore for like a tour and it was in so much pain for like a year. So it's probably probably atrophied a little bit. We're at 18. 18. build a shed in the back I got the land to put it that way I could do my own home gym you know what I'm saying maybe you never know that could be in the making though one of these days hit the lottery or something 19 Kind of lost the mind and muscle connection with this arm because I'm so afraid of it fucking just snapping on me. You know what I'm saying? So it's like I, try, I think I'm favoring the right side of my body, even with my lifts, which isn't good. Um, and balances, and I think that's probably why my right shoulder is hurting. You know what I'm saying? Get a juiced up steroid dude to come do this. They can't. They can't. You can bench five, six hundred pounds. They can't do 465 dips in this time frame. And I'm not 150 pounds. I'm a little over 200 pounds. So I don't want to hear, oh, you weigh 120 pounds. Nah, bro. We got some weight up over here. All right. They can't. So all that uh, strength shit, it don't mean nothing, bro. Another dude had commented about how Jason Blaha is stronger than me. He is. But he looks like shit. And he's also trained to be strong. I never trained for strength. Never. Probably when I was incarcerated, I was trying to throw up numbers and shit, just fucking around. But I never, I never trained for strength. But look at him now. Look at his... Pre Not that I watch him like that, but it comes up on my feet sometimes, so I just say, fuck, let me see what he's up to. Look at him now. He's training like a bodybuilder. <laughs> Why? Because all that strength, that ain't going to make you look good. All that strength training don't make you look good. When you look good, you feel good. So now look at his training. He's lifting like a bodybuilder now. Doing arms and triceps and fucking you name it. Switched up his whole type of training. If I trained for strength, it'd be one thing. If he looked better than me, that'd be another. Ah. I'm going on 27 minutes, man. 27 minutes. Almost 28. We got 21. Do a full day of eating tomorrow, so stay tuned for that. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. Tomorrow's going to be a rest day. And we're going to do a full day of eating. 
Some shit is just gonna be random, just to get them calories in, fat boy shit. And then uh, some things are gonna be like me, showing you kind of like how meal prep if I do my chicken, rice, shit like that. Well, you can see my fucking biceps, and they're not laying on nothing to press it up, make it look bigger. 30 minutes in. Was a grinder, fellas. As you see, the speed went up a little bit. 22. So, as you guys see, too, I've been just floating with my workouts. There's no set routine. I look to see what I haven't been really touching, and I go do it. You know, uh, if I feel sore, I take a day off. If I feel Mentally not there, I take a day off. Next day, regroup. Like I said in the previous video, don't go more than two days, man. Trust me. Once you hit that two days, that third day, man, get the fuck out the house. And go hit, go to the gym, bro. Go to the yard, do some push-ups, do something. It's going to reset you. The moment you go more than two days, bro, especially fighting depression and all that, going through real life shit, you're going to fall back into the slump, man. Trust me. As you guys know, I'm not consistent. Why? Cause I'm I deal with I deal with other things, man. YouTube don't pay me. I don't get money to work out. You know, I do this for the enjoyment of doing it, looking good. Yeah, yeah, I know my shit. So yes, I did it to start helping people. But when I wasn't seeing the return, I'm like, I work all day, bro. I, I, this thing ain't YouTube ain't paying me my rent. You know what I'm saying? I can't. Yeah, you got to start to hopefully get to that point where it is paying your rent. But I'm too old, man. I got too much on my shoulders, too much on my back to be relying on, you know, this type of income. Where, where it could be crazy. Dudes are making millions of dollars. Don't give back to their subs, to the people that buy their merchandise, support them, send them money, cash out, whatever. Do they do giveaways? They do, do they go live? Do they fly one of you motherfuckers out to get a training? They don't do things like that. That's shit that I would do, you know. If I ever made it to that level, mark my words. If I ever made it to that level, I'd do shit like that, you know what I mean? Giveaways, like I just said. Fly motherfuckers out, you know, give back to the people that help you live comfortably. A lot of these dudes ain't living comfortably. They living lavishly, you know what I'm saying? And they don't show no love. Crazy to me. Fake. That's fake. I mean, there's no other way to put it, but fake. How can you make millions of dollars, tens of hundreds of thousands of dollars on this platform from people that just, I don't know, mess with you because I don't know what. A lot of these people don't even know what the, how they got the following that they got. Like, this is that younger generation, you know what I mean? That younger generation, they flock to the, the younger generation of kids on this shit, on this YouTube, and they support them. And that's how they're making millions of dollars. Like I said, this channel can't grow without the viewers. I can't, I could push them, I could do a, a million push-ups right now. Break night, a million push-ups. If, if you guys don't hit the like button, comment, share it, it's not going to go viral. It don't matter. It don't matter what I do. I could do a million push-ups right now. Break night. Break the world record. It don't matter. It's the viewer. 22. We got 23, man. These are the grinders, man. Again, I'm already taxed now. And I'm getting... I got to do these higher numbers, so... Oof. 
we're gonna grind these ones out, man. We gotta build up that savagery, man. As you see, I can't even fully extend, bro. Yeah. Oh yeah, I got. Uh, we got hella pain in that right shoulder right now, fellas. Looking like Sam Sulik, man. <laughs> we looking like we looking like Sam Sulik right there, boy. What? We gonna count those, man. We gonna count those. Considering I did arms yesterday, we gonna count those ones, man. Fuck that. <laughs> we gonna take those to the bank. All that change. I gotta rewatch that one. Sorry. I gotta get this. I might just, uh, in the summertime, I might just concrete this shit right to the floor. Get it level, put, throw some concrete on this motherfucker, and that's it. Ghetto shit. Make it, make it so it don't move. Last ones ain't gonna be the prettiest, but they're gonna be the most effective. Good morning. We're gonna have to pop our ibuprofen after this. Cause I can feel the, the, the flare up on the tendonitis and the shoulder pain. Ah. Oh yeah, these last ones are gonna hurt me. Yeah, we're gonna break these sets down, man. I have to. I'm in pain right now. Just, just jumping up for that first set, and you can feel it. You can do well now. You can't feel it. You can see it. You can see it. I can feel it. Turn it up. Ah, out two. I can't count that last one. Grind this, grind this. get that second win.
We all wait. We got that shoulder pain. Honestly, I'd call it, but we're gonna fucking push these through, man. We're working on 29 right now. Grinders, bro. I'm at 13. We're at 13 of 29, man. Ah! 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 1, 2, 3. It's that shoulder, man. 23. Sam Sulik shit. <laughs> so my better judgment, I should have been stopped this video. But me being a knucklehead, we gotta get it done. 30. We got 30 to go. Why quit now, right? Fucking go, man. I'm tired. Six left. It's a wrap. Merry Christmas, y'all.